What's up guys, Jesse Norris here with Cage Muscle Subs and Anna Pollock, another athlete of ours. Today what we're going to be doing is hitting high intensity interval training and what we're going to be showing you specifically is dead mills. Um, what we're doing here is 15 seconds on, minute rest, 15 seconds and we're doing 6 to 8 sets. So follow us along and be ready to die. Alright guys, so what a dead mill is specifically is exactly what it sounds like. You're just hopping on a treadmill, you can find it at any gym, really, um, and you're leaving it off. You don't even need power to do this, isn't that great? Um, and what you're doing is you're pushing the belt as resistance. That's going to be your tool of resistance. Um, so you're just going to be you're hopping on the treadmill. As you start, obviously there's a lot of resistance and you're going to try to push the belt as fast as you can um, and count to 15 seconds. Once your 15 seconds are up, you'll go ahead and stop, rest for a minute, and back in. So if you hear any uh, football coach, they'll say short and quick steps. You just want to kind of jab through it, it's especially in this, just like uh, a line drill. But what you're doing is starting, it's going to be real, a lot harder at first. Once you get it going, trying to keep that momentum, driving your feet, driving your feet, the belt start to kick forward, take all the strides. Timing yourself for 15 seconds. Once your 15 are done, you're done. You rest. Okay, it's a short drive. Drive, 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 drive. Good, good, good. Long strides, long strides. Push, 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 push. Good. Come on. Oh, she had it at first. There you go. Some belts on treadmills are a lot stiffer and harder to push than others. And you'll rest. Sometimes you'll need a little more than a minute, but don't keep it more than two. Drive, 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 drive. Good. Big strides. So, as you can see, Erno is kind of more just short steps. That's fine if you're really struggling with the belt, but once you get it going, you should be able to take more of a regular stride, getting that foot forward and kicking back, which is really going to engage that hamstring, and you'll feel it. Um, but you really want that full engagement of the kind of the posterior chain, glute, hammy, and quad. That's, you'll get better work out of it that way. So, and right. if you can't push the belt. What we have you do is some burpees. So I'll, if you have a partner, one of you guys could be on the dead mill hitting sets here, and one of you guys could be doing like 20 burpees, resting a minute or two, and going from there. Hey guys, so today we showed you how to do a dead mill. Uh, today we did eight sets. Uh, like I said, you do 15 second seconds on. Uh, typically a minute rest. If you need a little more than that, that's fine. Don't go more than two minutes rest. So you're doing six all the way up to 10 sets. It depends where you are at with your conditioning. Um, but start there, 15 seconds on, minute to two minutes off, and repeat. And that's all we really did today. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Let us know what you think of the dead meal. Um, and as always, talk to you later.